The streets of Addis Ababa were busy Friday as security preparations and final touches were put in place a day before African leaders make their way into Ethiopia's capital. The streets expected to be cleared for the next four days as the city hosts the continent's heads of state and government. As they converge to, among other things, take a vote on who becomes the next head of the African Union Commission. Akin to the election of the Pope at the Vatican, the heads of state and government will be locked up in this room as they take a vote. And until the white smoke billows, it will take as many rounds of voting until finally one of the five candidates amasses two-thirds of the vote. And their lobbying would intensify Friday with side meetings of regional blocs on the continent. A careful calculation of countries' interests under consideration here. Citizen TV has learned that yet again Botswana's president Ian Kama may skip the summit, opting instead to send his VP, despite the country having a candidate, Pelonomi Venson Moitoi, who was the frontrunner in the previous election in Rwanda. Senegalese candidate Abdoulaye Batili, who is currently the UN Special Envoy for Central Africa, enjoys the full support of Senegal's President Macky Sall. Mba Mokui from Equatorial Guinea says his focus will be on the African youth and education for women. One Africa to be united, one and strong. Africa that respects the young people. Africa that not only talk about women, but they are taking some concrete action about women. Ambassador Amina Mohammed, who is flying the Kenyan candidacy flag, rallied female ministers from the region to her cause in a breakfast meeting Friday. A large Kenyan delegation expected in Addis Ababa Saturday, led by President Uhuru Kenyatta, who, together with his deputy, have personally led the campaign for Amina's candidature across the continent. Um, from the infrastructure deficit and the need to have an infrastructure revolution on the continent, right? to the need to ensure that uh, we provide the tools that our youth need uh, to allow us to take off. Chad's candidate, Moussa Faki Muhammad, has his focus on peace and security, economic governance, climate change, the place of Africa in the world and the youth agenda as his priority. As regional factions tussle for influence through this vote come Monday, it will not just be a question of favorites, rather of satisfying interests of regional blocs as well as those of individual nations. And this is what heads of state and government, particularly those with candidates, will peg their last-minute push on all through the weekend.